Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Survive Russia. Today we are gonna take a look at uh, this little guy here. And I'm gonna explain you why the Siberian natives they make these little things here. Because uh, that is what I have time for. I'm of course super super busy with the house because we have awesome weather, it's not raining, it's a little bit chilly, but we have sun every day and uh, awesome awesome. I'm almost finishing up the outer walls, we'll take a look at that at some point. But from tomorrow I will uh, take a break with the house and uh, head to the forest and stuff like that. So, why do the Siberian natives make these things here? I can say that uh, these they have definitely been making for thousands of years. Contrary to uh, how they are fixing a broken axe, which they most likely have done for at least a few hundred years, then these they have made for certainly for thousands of years. This is my variant. I made it the other day. I made it according to how Nikolai Aboimov he makes them, and it is of course. Uh, his knowledge is not my knowledge at all, but uh, I'm starting the uh, even Kiways and uh, the Siberian native tribes. Uh, there's a few tribes, of course, but uh, the even Ki, they are super awesome. So this is not something I have come up with myself. But they used to make these guys here from bone, from cranes, not, 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 not lifting cranes, but the bird, bird bones, because they are hollow, big birds. Like, most likely like stork and uh, what are they called? I don't know what they're called in English actually. The white bird with the orange beak and so on. But uh, they made these for thousands of years. This is actually super, super awesome. It's very, very interesting in my opinion. So uh, this is a piece of leather. This is a brass tube. You can use aluminum tube and uh, they sometimes use aluminum tubes. But we can pull, we can pull this guy like this. And we can pull this guy like that, right? <laughs> so here it's empty. It's a container. And I just made this copper stuff here just to make it a little bit uh, uh, kind of nice looking. But what is this? This is a holster for needles and thread. You can see. We have some thread. This is uh, from uh, Paracord. It's very strong, as you guys know. And inside of it... We have some needles. I have a big heavy needle here with the Paracord string. Then I have uh, another. Uh, we have to get in frame, right? Then I have another needle here. With, they're already threaded and so on. And uh, as you might be able to see, maybe you can see that, then you can just tie the thread around the needle. The needles, they sit like this, so they don't interfere with the other side here. And uh, yeah, I just found this very, very interesting. So when we are done using it, we can just roll it up like this and pull it. Then it's closed off. You're not gonna break or bend the needles or anything like that. It's like 10 centimeters long. We can have it in a pocket or whatever, you know. I think it's pretty neat. So this is definitely how I'm gonna carry my sewing kits from now on and forever. <laughs> no, but I just think it's neat. I think it's pretty neat. This is of course a piece of leather and just a tube. And then you close the ends off so you don't pull it through. And uh, then we have a, a traditional Evinki, a traditional Siberian tribesman's uh, sewing kit needle holder. It's called a Yegolnitsa in Russian. I don't know what it calls in English a holster for needles. I don't even know if there is a, is a name for it actually. I will also have to do my uh, video for my members. Because uh, I have uh, I have uh, some channel members. If you want to uh, join the channel membership, then there should be like a membership thing down in the thingy down here, and uh, you can become a channel member and support the channel in uh, that way. That's one way to do it. There's also merchandise and stuff like that. 
and uh, I'm coming up with some uh, different other options. So, guys, as I said, from tomorrow we're gonna take days off from the from the house building. We're gonna do a little video on that, of course, an update for you guys who are interested in that. I'm gonna head to the forest. I have uh, me and Mr. Survivor Russia have uh, finished one of our items for the outdoors and for for uh, tactical use and so on. So I'm gonna go out and test that little thing. It's the bag. It's our variant of the Yavin bag. It's gonna be a lot cheaper anyway, and it's actually pretty awesome. We tested it the other day, but we're gonna get back to that. So guys, please check the in the description. Please consider supporting the channel and all that good stuff. And until next time, get out of Spain, get it done, do something awesome. And uh, I will see you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for your time and uh, happy Easter.